Is this an opportunity now for investors? If investors have a long-term view, I think Venezuela is an opportunity. But in the short term, there's really very little to do. Uh, no one can negotiate with Maduro, uh, in part because uh, he's under international sanctions and there's really nothing to be, nothing, no one to engage with and no restructuring you could ever engage in. And not only that, they're, pre they're pretty much running out of money. So uh, in the short term, nothing for investors to do. In the medium term, um, if there is change, when there is change, and eventually there will be change, uh, it will be an opportunity for investors to engage. So compare this with Argentina, because you are famous for that investment. And in Argentina, you decided it was trading low enough that sooner or later they were going to have to pay off on these bonds, and it worked out for you. Is there a similar situation in Venezuela just with a longer time horizon? Gee, I hope it's not longer than Argentina. <laughs> <laughs> How long? <laughs> yeah. So that's the big question. How long? Because there's, there's um, uh, what I call the day after problem. The day after problem is that the day after Maduro, there'll be a new government in place. And that's the government that investors will engage with. So Katya, did, are, are we? At, I was talking to, to one investor, and he was saying that well, the risk is that it becomes like Cuba, where you're like, at mm -hmm. some point, there'll be a regime change, and then it will be <laughs> a good investment opportunity, but that at some point has now lasted decades. Uh, what would trigger any kind of change politically? Well, that's what's interesting. So there was such a low turnout for this vote yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, the, the government said that it was about 48% participation. Um, the opposition is saying it was lower, like 18%. So it's really about a man without a mandate, as you know, some consultants are saying. He, Maduro now doesn't have the, the will of the people. He doesn't have um, this Chavista message that he has to deliver on. So the question is, how does he respond to that? Does he respond with a further authoritarian dictator type power, and does he tighten the, the screws on, on everything and starts really going full-blown dictator in, in the coming years as he tries to uh, resist um, any sort of opposition. So that's what we need to see now. Does the military stand with him or go against him? Mm -hmm. We've already seen a lot of defections in the military. It's interesting, higher ranks of the military aren't allowed to speak to lower ranks of the military, so there can't be any plotting or um, you know potential coup plans in the works. So. We need to see if the military stands by this man without a mandate or if they turn against him.